Hey guys, welcome back to the part two of our Angular application. This part we will look at configuring the client size. Since we've got a little bit up and running in terms of the API services, we will bang on to the client side. But before I get started, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel and we can keep we can ke keep it going. So we add a new project. Of course, it's a MV. I mean ASP.NET Core. So what we do next is we just call it Angular Client. Just like that, it's Angular Client. And of course, we make it an empty as well. So as you can see, there's nothing, not, it's not much going on right now. So the, the next thing, uh, w w that what we have to do next is we have to open a, a PowerShell. So we open a Windows PowerShell a, a, as an admin. While the, while the, um, the solution up, updates the necessary package, packages. So here, this is what we will be doing. We just wait for the the PowerShell to, to boot. So but by one thing we have to do next is we have to go to the folder and copy the, the folder directory. So we copy the folder directory. So we come to the PowerShell. So we go, we navigate to the, 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 the directory. So we paste the directory that we copied. Then, so now we are inside the directory. So this is what we're doing. As, as you can see, we are inside the, the Angular client directory or the folder. So this is what we do. We add, um, we install the, the node. So this is where we type in. I'm gonna paste it, but you can have a look so this is what we do. So npm install the global and the Angular CLI um, command, command line interface. So as you can see, it's a very simple command. So what we do is we hit enter and we wait for Angular to get all the, to, to install the resources. So it will take a little bit time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pause it while everything just get up and running. Then I'll come back to the video. So as you can see, we've got um, the ho we've got it still running. So I'm still on the pause, but I just checked it. Okay, so as you can see, we've got um, we've got the node installed. So this is what we do. Um, we we will actually add the the Angular now. So we say ng new. We add a new ng. We just call it a client app for now. So we wait for. So as you can see on this on on this side here, we will get some files created here. So we wait <coughs> we wait for it, I mean for it to build. So I I, I will actually pause it while the whole thing. So yeah, once you, once you get it, would you like to add Angular um, routing? I mean I'll pick N no for now. Then I'll select the the CSS. Uh, obviously you can select the. SCSS, the SAS, the lesson, or the stylus. But I mean, I would, I would go for the, the CSS for now. So as you can see, we've got, we've got, we've got the installation happening. So I'll pause it now. It will take a, a while for, for the whole thing to, 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 to be, to be completed. Hey guys, <coughs> so as you can see, I've got the operation completed, but it, it seems there's some little warnings and errors, but we will sort them out as we go on. So now we open the app. So we have all the necessary files inside. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy all of this
and then we put it inside the root folder. So now we've copied it, we've, we have it inside the root folder. We can delete the, the client app. So we can delete it. So now we've got that deleted. So as you can see, we've got we've got an error with the with the note, but we will sort that one out later on. But first of all, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna come to the we're gonna open our the project file, and we're gonna add we're gonna add some we're gonna add two properties. The first one will be. Um, Type script compiler blocked. We set that to true. Then the next bit, uh, the next bit will be. Um, post built event. Then we we set that ng build um, dash dash alt. So that's that's what we have for here for now. So next bit of course is we open the Angular dot JSON. And then we look for we look for this file. We look for output path here. We set that to www root folder. That we set that to this folder. We save it, and then this is what we're going to do. We come back to the uh, the PowerShell, and this is what we're going to do. .NET build. So we build it. We might have some errors, so we will get back to it, or uh, we might get um, the the packages, the node packages um, resolved by itself. But we just wait for what happened. So whatever happens, I'm just gonna pause it because it might take a little bit longer. So once it's done, then I'll I'll get back. Okay, so as you can see, we've got the build succeeded, but there's one more thing that we have to do. Um, we come to the the dependencies. We right click it. I mean, we right click the the npm, and we say we restore package. So we wait for whatever goes on to happen. Then we just come back to it. So I'll pause it once again while the whole thing start working. Okay. So now. Once we've done the, the package resolving resolution and we build it, we've got a www root a files created inside. So this is what we have right now. So this is what we're gonna do. So now we have the whole thing working. We come back to this part and then we can say um dot net run. So we can run it to see what comes out of it. So we just wait for for the application to start running. So 
So as you can see, we've got it up now running now. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're just gonna copy this bit here. Just copy here, then. So I'm just going to paste the URL here. So as you can see, we're getting hello world. So I'm just going to go back to the, the start app. Yeah, this bit here. And this is the reason why we get in the hello world. So we remove it and we can say um, we come inside a the services, I mean the configure services, and say services dot add MVC. And then here we can say app dot use MVC. We can say app dot um, use static files use static files then app dot use default files so this is this is what we do for here for now we save it yeah and then we, we back here So what, what, what are we going to do, what I'm going to do next is so I'm just going to actually run it from here. I'm going to run it from here. So this is what I'm going to do. We set this as a start, a set start a project and we run it from here. So I'm just going to pause it while it loads. So I've actually stopped it from running. I've opened, reopened the, uh, the PowerShell again. So we do it from here. So we just do the .NET run from here. So we've got it running again on the, so this is what we would do. We just copy the URI, or I mean, I think we have it already here. So I'm just gonna refresh it and we should get the Angular app. And HTTP cannot find, so there's one sec. Okay, there was something that was, wasn't right. So make sure you put use default files first before before they use static files. That will solve any if you have any issues. So right now we can say .NET run from here and everything sh should be fine. So that was just some slight issue. Okay, so now we've got it working now. So we can use the URI now. The URI here. And we can open a browser and check that on it. So we can paste our URI here. So as you can see, we've got everything working all the files were saved were actually responded to i mean requested was responded to so as you can see it's pretty much simple but the next bit of course is we start to to dig in a little bit deeper so strap up
and catch up on the next video if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do subscribe to the channel and have a lovely day bye bye